Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Springfield Armory XDS Mod 2 OSP. New from Springfield, they just introduced it today. And here it is, they now make the XDS Mod 2 model with a slide cut to offer an optic. Now this one here is a Crimson Trace 1500. You can purchase this with the optic on there, MSRP 549 or without. It'll have the slide cut there. You can put your own optic on there. It will also come with a, a cover plate for 425 The gun itself is the same. The one that everybody has come to know throughout the years, single stack, 9mm handgun. Mod 2, okay, they made some improvements. A nice grip texturing right there. And a 7-round magazine. Single stack, and also comes with a 9-round magazine. We'll go ahead and show clear here. So with the 7-round mag, you're looking at 3-finger contact, approximately 2.5 solid feel right there. And then with the 9-round magazine, you've got 9 rounds with a full feel right there, like a full-sized handgun. But I have come to appreciate red dots on handguns i've said it before my aging eyes have caught up to me when that dot looks fuzzy and your target looks fuzzy and everything looks fuzzy that's when you know <laughs> your your vision is not what it once was and this red dot certainly helps and i took it to the range already i was very much pleased with it i used a laser sight prior to going to the range i sighted in this optic with this laser sight and it certainly helped when i got to the range i didn't have to adjust it at all i thought i'd have to tweak it a little bit but i didn't have to and it was pretty dead nuts so that was an easy adjustment for me and it, it wasn't even off too much it was a little bit but the handgun itself it has made its way into the gun world a lot of people carry it I already mentioned a single stack nine millimeter does have the grip safety there forces a high grip on the gun offers a rail a sight hole indicator serrated black rear sights and a dot in the front all metal sights and an ambidextrous magazine release okay left-handed friendly right there but a nice shooting handgun i took it to the range i already mentioned it it shot great i was very much happy with it now it does have a trigger bar safety in there i'm measuring right around six and a half pounds there's the initial pull the trigger right there with the reset so it is the same gun but they now offer it osp so many people are carrying red dots with their carry guns and they recognize that with the hellcat and now they're offering it with the smaller single stack nine millimeter let's take a look at the grip width all right now here has the 13 round magazine in the hellcat also comes with an 11 round magazine the most in the industry for a gun this size three inch barrel over here we're looking at a 3.3 inch barrel so you're getting a, a little bit longer okay not much but you can see the grip width a little bit wider with the hellcat and then if we look at the length there's that little bit additional that the xds mod 2 offers right there but I was happy with it. I already mentioned I, I ran um, some reloads through it. I ran some factory brass, case ammo, and it, it fired everything just fine. And it was quite accurate, which was a little surprising to me, being that I only laser sighted it in. But I certainly wasn't complaining. Let's go ahead and put the 9-round magazine in here. We'll take a look at the weight. You know, it all depends on what you want. Do you want that thinner handgun on your hip or do you want the the larger what we got going on here here we go we're looking at one pound five and a quarter ounces we move that to just ounces the unloaded weight 20 and a quarter ounces i have eight rounds here all right so that's including one in the chamber you're looking at 24 and 5 eight, so approximately 24 and a half ounces now let me go ahead and take this mag out and we'll put the 11 round that's loaded with 11 rounds not one in the chamber 
and you're looking at 22 and three quarters so the Hellcat is still lighter with a couple additional rounds and I have to say it's the length of the barrel because you're getting 3.3 inch barrel here and a three inch barrel there but you're getting a thinner gun I will take a look at the internals we'll go ahead and drop that mag already showed clear but we we're playing with some ammo so we'll check again and we'll lock the slide back and move this lever up and pull the trigger and there we go it does have a full length guide rod and a dual recoil spring and there is the polymer frame right there so the gun itself is not new but the OSP optical sight pistol model is I think I already mentioned but I'll mention it again without the optic 425 is the MSRP with this Crimson Trace 1500 you're looking at 549 but it's a nice handgun it's stood the test of time it's been around a while and now you can have an optic on it and i think that's advantageous for a lot of people and i plan to do some more work with this handgun if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe